Well, hello and happy Wednesday. I don't know why I can't film without scratching myself or touching myself in some way on my face and it's the most bizarre thing but the moment I hit that record button I'm like oh so hi I'm gonna and I think I actually have a hair attached to to my why is it not removing itself anyway so I'm gonna be doing a conceptual painting today and it's gonna be a mixed media painting mixed media is something that I really love to I don't know what this hair is it's like in my nose Oh my god, I have to get this mop cut. Okay, okay, just tame the beast. Tame, tame the beast. All right. So the concept that I have, I'm creating a sketch, which is behind me, and I will show you how I'm kind of using graphite and a paintbrush to spread the graphite around, as well as what happens next. And I'll, get, I'll keep you abreast on what I'm doing. All right, without further ado, let's do this thing. Okay, so I already have my basic sketch down here and what I'm doing is I'm just doing some shading with some graphite and just the darkened parts. And I'm gonna take a paintbrush and smooth that out, work that around, you know kind of a cool effect actually because you can get some of your shading in and then I'm going in with charcoal and I'm actually going to take a paintbrush with some rubbing alcohol on it and it actually helps prevent the smudging that can happen when you have a charcoal drawing and then you're going to be painting over it so there are my acrylic inks that's exciting so I'm getting a little bit of color on here and I'm going to kind of do this this effect with um, rubbing alcohol you spray it on there and then you can get this mottled effect which is really cool so these watercolor crayons are absolutely amazing I love them you can just color onto the canvas and then you take a paintbrush with water on it and you get these really cool watercolor effects as well so that in conjunction with the acrylic inks is kind of cool so you're actually getting some color on there this is what I like to call the ugly painting phase when your painting is like really really ugly and I'm going to be well right now I'm putting on like some transparent acrylics I'm also going to be working in some of the light and shadow to bring a little bit more realism I'm kind of going with um, this blue tone for her face because I have a lot of orange in the top and they're complementary so I'm sketching in a little bit with the paintbrush um, getting some different textures in there, which is really kind of cool. I have two skulls in the painting and the one on the right hand side is the dominant one. Um, so, oh yeah, like check that out. That's actually pretty neat. It's cool watching myself paint sometimes because I see it and I like watching it happen quickly. So I like this thing with like the wing. Um, kind of representing freedom this is kind of like a macabre painting in a way because it's got the skulls and the wing like flying away or whatever but I think it's it's very human for us to think about our morbidity to a certain degree so <laughs> kind of a funny thing right here is like so there is on the left hand side where that second skull is I'm like trying to figure out if I actually want to have a jawline in there or if I don't want to have a jawline in there and I think what I eventually decide is that I don't want a jawline in there. So acrylic markers on the top give those cool lines. And I like having some of that abstraction as well as spray paint. Masking tape and spray paint, very, very cool. I, I love it, especially in mixed media paintings. So you just put masking tape on there and then peel it off and you get some really cool lines and you can make them fade away. Some more acrylic inks just to darken certain areas and um, because they're transparent so you can make them as light or as dark as you want them to be by adding water to them. So now I've gone on to oil paint. Um, actually no, I haven't. I'm still painting with acrylic paint but I'm lightening things up. Now I believe I'm on oil paint. Okay, <laughs> I lied the first time, sorry about that. So oil paint, I love oil paint. It just softens everything. It 
kind of makes it look more um, realistic in certain areas. And yep, that's where I decide not to have the jawline on the skull. See, decisions you make in art, it's kind of in, in real time where you're like, no, I don't like that. I'm going to take that out. This is the beauty of art. You can paint over things. I love the way this painting came out, actually. I hope you do, too. If you do, leave a message in the comments and let me know what you think. Okay, so this concludes this video. I figured that I would film a conclusion in my lovely clean kitchen and you can see my beautiful basil plant. It's a little bit of home and gardens right here. It's great, isn't it? So actually I just really wanted to show you the painting in the natural light because natural light is amazing and you can really see the color saturation and the oil paint absolutely softens the facial features and that is why I love oil paint. You can, you can get a similar effect with acrylics but the problem that I find with acrylics is that they dry so fast. Um, oil paint, you know, it, it, it actually is way more forgiving than people realize. And I do love the oil paint, it just takes longer to dry. So the benefit of oil paint with it taking longer to dry is also the thing that is kind of annoying about it when you want something to be dry. In acrylic paint it has the opposite where you like it to dry a little bit slower but it's also great that it dries quickly. <sighs> I love the best of both worlds. Something that dries and kind of, you know, moderation. Like everything in moderation. Kind of have it dry a little bit slower, but not as slow as oil paint. Okay. Anyway, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Once again, I don't know what it is. My nose is itchy whenever I film. That's, I can't explain that. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Alright, glad you can see my face. It is done. This is actually, this, oh wait, this is the good side of my face. It is done. Actually, that looks, I don't know what's going on with my, can you see all my gray hair? And as you can see, this is my, this is my model. He's well seasoned. If you want some salt.